Hi, I am Izzy, Mr. Donnelly's daughter, and I love to draw and paint. And so today, I am going to be doing a calming video of how to draw abstract art. So abstract art can look like this. This is one that I did a few years ago with paint, but you don't always have to paint it. So I like to use marker, and abstract art is when you draw shapes or things that you like and it doesn't and it can look like anything that you think it is so you just draw some shapes and whatever you think it is is what it can be so today um you're gonna need some paper it can be this kind of paper lined paper or it doesn't have to be in a notebook even and and you want to have to have some markers I like to use colorful markers but it doesn't have to be like this and you're gonna want a black marker to outline what you're gonna draw so to start off I'm gonna draw a triangle but you don't have to follow what I do but if you want to you can so like a triangle like this and then when you want to, if you want to put a shape like behind it or near it, you want to just draw like this. So if I'm drawing a square, I want to draw it like, like the triangles in front of it. So you should want to like skip that part, kind of. And if you want to first, you could use a pencil first and then trace over it, but I'm just going to use a marker. And then you would just keep going with different shapes or you can do like lines like this or dots like this. You could even draw like a rainbow shape like that so you could copy this or do whatever you want to do and you just want to keep drawing shapes till the page is as full as you want it and you could draw they don't have to be shapes like this, where they're like flat lines. They could be like like this. They can be like weird shapes like that. Or you could draw like um like zigzags like that. Um. And you can also like connect shapes in the background. Like this, I added some lines here to connect the shapes. So then if you, you get to like this point where there is shapes, enough shapes that you want, and then you can pick out as many colors as you want. I'm going to choose, let's do red, blue, purple, green, and yellow. So I'm going to use these colors. You can use as many or as little as you want. And I'm going to color in the shapes. So, I'm just going to color... Like this, and you're just going to want to color in um, all the shapes, and you can color in the background. And you don't have to color in the background, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And the nice thing about abstract art is it can be, it can, you can do anything you want and it will look good. 
so it doesn't have to be like perfect you can make weird put weird shapes and it'll still look cool so I'm just gonna keep coloring it in like this and you could do let's see I'm gonna put stripes in the background over here I'm gonna do some stripes and it can be different you can do anything you want really I'm gonna make the dots yellow let's see and if you have like this zigzag you don't because it's not like you can't color it in you can just um, go over it in marker And you could always paint this too, like that. You can go like that. See how it's green now? You can do that. You could also do shapes like many colors. You could do stripes in them or polka dots or um, like rainbow. You can make a rainbow in it. Like I did stripes in this one here and if you need more time you can always pause the video and and keep going so then when you get close to done it'll start looking like things and you could think like it could be like an ice cream cone or a person can be anything really. And um let's see, should I use blue? And you don't have to color it all in. You can always color in the shapes just like with lines or like this, you have this one, I didn't color it in all the way. It can look like, it can, you can do anything. So now that I've colored in all of my shapes here, you can leave it like this, or you could color in the background. I think I'm gonna color in the background a little bit. Or you could, like, you could always go like this, you can make a line through your paper like this this line and then you just color in this half of the line like this and so then you can do multiple of these lines and your background could be a few colors Okay, almost done. Just go like this, color it in. Like this. So you could do that in multiple spots or you could keep it like that. But, I think in the background, I'm going to add some swirls, so you can just do like, like that, like this shape, in like a circle almost. You do different colors, too. So I'm just going to finish the page in swirls. And this is my finish. I I think this looks really cool. And I almost think that this looks if you're looking up at the sky, I almost think that this looks like 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 the stars and the moon 
and this could almost be like the sun, just blue, and this could almost be, um, um, this could be like, maybe like, I don't know, like a rainbow, it kind of looks like a rainbow, so this is what I did, um, thank you for watching this, and I hope that you had fun.